Go ahead. The purpose of this training video is to go through the operation of the uh, McLean Ozone Destroyer and how the system operates, and they'll have a later video on sanitation protocol for airplanes. So basically, you plug the system in. This is a ozone on demand system, which means the system will operate when the water turns on and it will shut off when the water shuts down. So the first step is to connect your hoses. We're gonna connect the inlet hose. And secondly, we're gonna connect the outlet hose. Now that the hoses are connected, we're going to come up to the control panel of the system and we're going to shift the system to on. When the system comes on, you'll notice that both the diagnostic light and the operational light are both on. So now we're ready to utilize the system and we're going to turn the water on for the system on the inlet side. And when we do that, you notice that the amperage on the system goes up. Uh, in this case, it goes up to five. On some systems, it may only go up to one or two. But the amperage comes on, the diagnostic light goes out, and the operational light comes on. And now the system is operating. And essentially, what we have is ozonated water coming out of the system. Now the system is set up so that if you turn the water off on the inflow side, the system amperage goes off, diagnostic light comes back on, system goes to standby. Again, if we start the water flowing, amperage goes on, operational light stays on, diagnostic light turns off. The same thing happens if we turn the water off downstream. And if we turn the water off downstream, the system goes back to standby, both lights come on, and if we turn the water on downstream, essentially what we have is the operational light, diagnostic light is out, and we have the amperage running. That is essentially the way the system operates uh, in the water flow mode.